there hasn't been an answer. And that sort of seems to be the track record that the Liberal government has. Why should we vote you in again if that's a track record for a year? It was a simple question. Well, Carlo, um, we've had discussions on this. And uh, what I want to say is that I, I take my job very seriously and your question very seriously. But I don't have the answer myself. The answer would lie with the ministry and the minister. And I have personally spoken to the minister about this and uh, taken your question to the ministry. The answer is that they're still in negotiation because that plant, what well, yes, was cancelled, but that means that there might be building it somewhere else in Ontario. And because the negotiations are still going on, I don't have an answer as to how much it would cost. Because if, if there is an agreement that is reached, it obviously will not cost as much as it would if they don't reach an agreement. It's beyond my control. Uh, you, can, you can talk about a lot of things beyond uh, control and uh, out of reach, uh, but I, I want to tell you folks why that gas plant in Oakville was cancelled in the first place. It's because a Liberal MPP for that area stood up and spoke out on behalf of his constituents and he was able to achieve what Laura Albanese has been unable to regarding diesel trains in this community. And I mentioned it earlier, I mentioned it earlier, the biggest problem that I have is that we need a fighter for this community and instead for the past four years we have had a seat filler. And that's, and that's why... Representation. We need more effective representation. 